it's English time. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Today we have a new lesson. That's why I want you to pay attention and listen carefully to Miss Mona. So our lesson will be about simple present tense. Simple present tense. So what does this mean? Let's look for the answer together. So everyone, today we will be studying about simple present tense. I know the lesson will be a bit difficult, but I'll try my best to make it easy for you. So everyone, before doing anything, let's read the day and date. As you know, this is our daily routine. We need to write the day and date every day before starting the lesson. So, who can help me today? Let me choose Ali Rashid. Ali, what's the day and what's the date? Well done! It's Wednesday, April 15, 2020. That's great! So, everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify simple present tense verbs and also write sentences using simple present tense verbs. So, everyone, first of all, let's talk about your daily routine. Let's talk about your daily routine. I want you, everyone, to think about the things you usually do every day. In the morning, in the afternoon, and also in the evening. So everyone, if you want to know when and how to use the simple present tense when you talk or write, listen carefully to what I am going to say. First of all, we use the simple present tense when we write or talk about our daily routine so it means when you talk about something that you usually do every day let's say in the morning you wash your face or every morning you wash your face right you eat your breakfast so you do these things every day in the morning also, in the afternoon, you eat your lunch. You play in the backyard. In the evening, you eat your dinner and sleep early. These are the things that you usually do every day. So, if you want to talk about the things that you usually do every day, you need to use simple present tense so everyone please be careful we use the simple present tense when we talk about our daily routine or things that happen every day so let's read the sentences together i need your help jude can you read with me i need your help i wash my face every morning i eat my breakfast every day my dad prays every day so everyone look at these words these words will help us to know that these actions happen regularly it means every day see every morning every day every day also here so when we want to talk about something that happens every day we need to use or we should use the simple present tense so everyone let me say something else we use also the simple present tense when we talk about facts facts and I've explained to you before what does fact mean a fact is something true and you can't change it 
So here let's read the sentence. The sun sets in the west. The sun is bright. So everyone let's talk about this sentence. The sun is bright. This is a fact. It doesn't change. Because the sun is bright today and it was bright yesterday and it will be bright tomorrow. So this is a fact. So everyone, we use the simple present tense when we talk about facts. So everyone, we also use the simple present tense when we want to talk about habits. It means something you like to do or you usually do every day. Let's read the sentences. Noura eats an apple every day. Remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Omar plays football every Monday. Saif always sleeps early. So we can call these habits we can call them habits something that we like to do or we usually do every day so everyone before moving to talk about something else let's remember together when do we use the simple present tense when we talk about our daily routine or our habits or facts something else i want to talk about please listen carefully to me i want you to focus so everyone when we use the simple present tense in writing we need to pay attention to the verb so let's read the first sentence and let's look for the verb. So, Nora eats an apple every day. So, remember, the verb comes after the noun. So, Nora eats. Here is the noun. So, here is the verb. Let's underline the verb in each sentence. So, Omar plays football every Monday. Omar is the noun. And here's the verb. Safe always sleeps early. So here is the verb. Let's continue reading. Where's the other sentences? Here we go. So let's read these sentences. They write their homework every Sunday. You eat banana every day. Here is the verb. We play football in the PE class every Wednesday. Here is the verb. I always eat lunch at noon. Here is the verb. So everyone, I want you to Pay attention. So they write, you eat, we play, I eat. Let's go to the other one. Yes, let's go. It's over here. Nura eats. Omar plays, safe sleeps. So do you see everyone here? We added S to the verb. But in the other sentences, we don't add S. So let's learn when to add S to the verb and when not to add. So everyone, let's watch the video together. Please pay attention and listen carefully. We know action words are called verbs like crawling, dancing, singing, 
jumping, digging, reading, painting, writing, cutting, cleaning, hopping, polishing, bathing, eating, sleeping, etc. And in the previous sections, we learned that verbs that come after I, you, we, they, and plural nouns do not end with S or ES. Okay, so let me say something to you. So the verbs that come after I, you, Okay, we, and they, okay, they, let me write, so let me say it again, so the verbs that come after I, you, we, they, don't end with S, for example, if I say I, play. It's correct because I cannot say I plays. You eat also. I cannot say you eat. We play. I cannot say we plays. They go. I cannot say they goes. So everyone Remember, the verb that comes after, this is the verb, the verb that comes uh, after I, you, we, and they will not end with S. Example, I like apples. You like apples. They play the piano daily. I will go for dance classes daily. So, everyone, as you can see, the verb that comes after I, there is no S after you, after they. So, we don't add S to the verb that comes after I, you, we, they. So here we're talking about the simple present tense. And as you can see, for example, uh, let's go to this sentence. I go for the dance classes daily, daily. So it means something that uh, happens regularly. We didn't add S or ES after the verb, like go, plays. All are without S or ES. And the verbs that come after he, she, it, and singular nouns end with S, E, S. He likes mangoes. Rita plays with the piano daily. He goes for swimming classes daily. So everyone, I want you to pay attention. So the verbs that uh, come after he, she, and let's say it end with s or es as you can see he likes mangoes rita plays with the piano daily he goes for swimming classes daily so let me say she he and at. So the verbs that come after she, he, or at should end with s or es. As you can see, he likes, Rita plays, he goes. Swimming classes daily. Barry goes for dance classes daily. Rita goes for music classes daily. Mary sings very well. So we have added S or ES after the verbs. 
So everyone, notice what we add at the end of the verb in each sentence. Here, there is nothing, there is no S or ES, here also no, but here, he, she, and et, let me say, the verb that comes after she, he, or et, we added the S to the verb. We pray, you pray, they pray. So everyone, as I said to you so far, that the verb uh, that comes after he, she, or ed ends with the S or ES. But sometimes, or let me say, when do we add the ES in such case? If the verb ends with the following letters, add ES to the verb. So look at these letters. So let's read the sentences together. Fix. He fixes things. Go. Ahmed goes to sleep very early. Brush. She brushes her teeth every day. Buzz. The bee buzzes in and out of the flower. So everyone, as you can see, he goes, see here is letter O, so we add ES, she fixes here, we add ES, and it buzzes here, we add ES. So everyone, task time, you have two things to do, task number one and task number two, or you know what, you can choose one of them, but if you want to complete two of them, you can do that as well. Task number one, can you sort the sentences? Put the correct symbol present tense sentences into the treasure box and the incorrect ones in the rubbish bin. Can you think of a sentence of your own that you could put into the treasure box? So let's read the sentences together. I likes tennis. So what do you think about it? Let's read the next. She watches TV. We jump together. Emily sings loudly. He likes football. Aisha speaks Arabic. So everyone, you need to find the correct sentences and put them in the treasure box and the wrong one, put them in the garbage. So everyone, task number two, unscramble the following sentences. So you need to organize each sentence, read it carefully. Finally, don't forget to upload your work in your class dojo portfolio. Have a Nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.